What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. Today we are bringing you the first Battlefield build of the season. This one's coming from Justin Olsen out in Sweden and it's just in time for Battlefield 2042's beta. Hey guys, I'm Justin Olsen, otherwise known as Metallic Acid Customs, and this is my Battlefield 2042 PC. Since my squad and I are really pumped to play the newest installment of the Battlefield series, I wanted to make sure I've got a PC capable of running the game in all of its glory with RTX enabled. For the build, I was lucky enough to use a special version of the Spectre 3 chassis made by Singularity Computers. To get started, I got to painting the chassis in a blue-green tone, which matches the Battlefield 2042 marketing material. I weathered the panels with black acrylic paint mixed with water to get into all of the grooves of the chassis, give it some depth and some shadow. Afterwards, I used silver paint using the dry brush method and went over all of the ridges. And this actually simulates a lot of wear and tear that military gear would actually get out in the field. The back acrylic panel features a laser cut Battlefield 2042 logo. The logo is also side lit by an RGB strip, which is covered by a custom aluminium panel and this RGB strip helps the logo pop out from the back panel itself. Directly behind this logo panel, I added a photo of the Battlefield poster. The idea behind this was that the laser etched logo would actually seem to be hovering over the poster. What makes this Spectre 3 chassis really special is that it boasts a power delivery system called the Power Board, which effectively replaces all of the cables between the PSU and the components. It's basically a distro for electricity. While the retail version of the Powerboard will ship with all of the required cables, I have a pre-production sample, so I had to create all of my cables from scratch. Unfortunately, my motherboard has a 90 degree connector, which means that because of clearance issues, I had to make a cramped, twisted 24 pin, and it really wasn't so aesthetically pleasing. To solve this issue, I fabricated an aluminium panel to actually cover over the 24 pin, as well as some of the RGB connectors. Since the RAM I selected for the project didn't match the build aesthetically, I also went ahead and created a shroud for those as well, and it just ties everything together much more nicely. In addition to the Spectre 3 chassis, the rest of the specs include an ROG Maximus 13 Extreme Glacial motherboard, paired with an i9-10900K. I'm using 32GB of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM and a 1TB Samsung Pro M.2 drive. For graphics, we have a liquid cooled GeForce RTX 3090 as part of a fully custom water cooling setup from EK Waterblocks. And all of this goodness is powered by an ROG Thor 1200W PSU. Great work, Justin. I love the lighting and the clean aesthetic of the build. As a fellow longtime fan of the Battlefield franchise, I'm stoked for 2042 to finally arrive. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more, hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you for the next one.